Hi everyone, it's Angie. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping in. And I'm here today with another unboxing. And our unboxing today comes from Diamond Art Club. And this is um, a pre-order. So I have quite a few pre-orders outstanding. I'm not sure which this is, but let's get right into it and we'll figure it out soon enough. And I'm assuming since they put it in this cardboard box, there might be more than one. So that's exciting. Boop, boop. So let's see what we got. Yes, there are two. And one of them is gigantic. So let's just pull them out real quick. I'm going to be surprised while you're surprised. Look at that one, you guys. Look at how big that one is. Holy crap. Holy. We're going to save that one for last. We'll do this guy first. So, what did I get? I see blue stripes, so it looks like both of these are square. Um, you can tell on Diamond Art Club boxes, square from round, because the squares have this blue stripe, and the rounds have a magenta bright pink stripe. <gasps> oh, yay! This is Rococo Dream from Anise Guerrero. I loved this one. I pre-ordered it. And I showed my daughter and she loved it too. So I ordered another one for her. So I placed them on two separate orders. So I've got one came in this order and I'll have another one coming in with another item that I have on pre-order. So this is a 56 by 76. And I think I've mentioned before, this is one of my favorite sizes of diamond paintings because it equates to exactly a 22 by 30 which is um, a frame size that you can buy in a store. So that is really nice. Now this one, you know what? I probably will frame this one um, and put it up in my craft room. This isn't something I would, you know, have up in the main part of my house, but I'll put it up in my craft room when I finished it. So let's get into it and see what it looks like. Yay! So happy that my pre-orders are starting to roll in. I do have quite a few on pre-order, so let's get everything out of the box. And uh, first thing we'll talk about is the toolkit with Diamond Art Club with a square drill canvas, your toolkit. And you guys, I'm just gonna put it right out there. Look at my disgusting fingernails. They're filthy, I know, they're gross. Don't look at them, look at them for that second. Don't look at them anymore. I've been doing gardening and I cannot garden with gloves on. So I, the, I was out working in the garden and the mailman came and I washed my hands real quick and came in here to record this because you know how I am. When I get a package delivered, I can't wait. I can't wait two minutes, let alone long enough to scrub underneath my fingernails. Anywho, Diamond Art Club, if you haven't ordered from them before, I don't know why not, because in my opinion, Diamond Art Club is pretty much the gold standard when it comes to diamond paintings. I love everything about them, their canvases, their drills, um, <clears throat> the way everything is charted. Uh, they're just, in my opinion, the best. Um, so with a standard toolkit, you do get a few baggies. You get a clear boat with a funnel. You get a four placer. I thought you usually got a seven placer too, but I could be wrong on that. This one came with a four placer, a regular blue pen with a squishy. Square toolkits do come with the very nice pointy end tweezers and two plates of wax, the heart shaped wax. And this is better than square wax that you get with some of the more budget friendly uh, kits. One good rule of thumb if you're working with pink wax is the less see-through it is, so the more opaque it is, the better the wax. So you can kind of compare that to, I just happen to have a square sitting here from an other, from a uh, toolkit. You see how this wax is kind of clear and see-through and lighter, and this is kind of darker? This wax does work a lot better, <clears throat> excuse me, than the standard pink wax. And then we've got our four placer. So that is a standard Diamond Art Club toolkit set that off to the side and you also with Diamond Art Club you get this nice little sticker that tells you uh, gives you the title of your image the artist name the dimensions and a small picture of your image this sticker you can use to put on the end of your box if you're going to organize them horizontally so you for easy identification or you can put it in your log book or anything else I haven't quite I have a log book you guys but 
I spend too much time diamond painting and not enough time organizing. So I have a little pile of these for all the ones that I've started, finished, worked on, and they're just sitting in my little pile waiting for me to catch up in my log book, which to be honest with you, I don't know if that day will ever come. <clears throat> maybe, 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 maybe. Today's gonna be one of those days where the plastic doesn't pull off for me. No big deal, I don't really care about that. But let's get into the goods. One thing that I love that Diamond Art Club has begun doing is they put their large sticker sheet, I'll show you right here, their large sticker sheet that also has another image of the picture of the image um, along with a start and end date. And it has your pre-scored um, symbol stickers so that with the DMC code, so you can put these on your containers for when you're working on your uh, project. So um, that is very nice. And I'm really glad that they started putting these inside the rolled canvas. They used to just be inside the box. And sometimes these stickers would have a tendency to flake off. But since they've been putting them wrapped around the canvas, I have not had that problem. So that's wonderful. And you also get step-by-step -step instruction brochure, step-by-step -step instructions for diamond painting. And there is a coupon code in this if you're interested. You can almost always find a coupon code somewhere for almost all diamond painting companies, Diamond Art Club included. So let's just break into this canvas. And there she is. She is, let me just roll it backwards a little bit. Diamond Art Club canvases are printed on a, they call it a tarpaulin canvas. It's very, very soft on the back. And they do lay flat very quickly. There's never, you never have to worry about any creases or anything. Um, if you're familiar with diamond painting um, and Diamond Art Club, you know all this. But for somebody who hasn't ordered from Diamond Art Club, you know, it's good to know. Their canvas also is has the um, uh, sparkly, sparkly canvas, uh, the little sparkles in the canvas. And they do have surged and um, scalloped edges so that you... Um, don't have any fraying. So that's nice. So there she is, Rococo Dream. Linda, that, that's the image and it is beautiful. There are only 29 colors in this diamond painting, but I think that that's plenty because of the way that the image is rendered. Um, it's just mainly pink, pinks and, and pink, black, gray. Um, rather monochromatic uh, uh, picture. This is the same artist that did Artem or Artemisa, which I completed recently, and that was absolutely gorgeous. I love this crow on her shoulder wearing the crown. That's beautiful. Do you see the merry-go-round up in her hair? That's gorgeous, and the ribbons hanging. I just... I keep saying I'm not a fan of the um, image, you know, images with ladies or people, but you know, this is about the fourth or fifth one I've done, so I can't really say that anymore. Um, but I think that this is just a gorgeous image, and this is a square. I think I mentioned that. So let's take a look at the drills. Um, just looking at the canvas, I can see that we're going to have one AB diamond. You do have legends up in the top left hand corner as well as down in the bottom right. So you can see it from anywhere you're working on the canvas. However, you know, after I kit up and I use my label stickers that have the symbol right on it, I don't even look at the at the um, key anymore. There's just no need to. For me anyway. So let's take a look at these luscious drills and see how they look and see what kind of colors we have. Well, we know what kind of colors we're gonna have, but we'll just take a close up look at them. We've got a lot of gray, like I thought we would. Four bags of 318, 963, which is a bright pink. Three bags of 414, some 605. That's pretty similar to that one, isn't it? 960, those, are, those two are fairly Fairly similar but, similar, but what did I say? Similar? Where did I come up with that? Here I am inventing words today. But once you have it down on the canvas and they're next to each other, it's really going to help to enhance the image and make it look um, 
just make it look three-dimensional. It really, really helps, even though it looks like they're the same. So we have a ton of 3371. Do we have any 310 in here? Look, yes, we do have 310. But we have a ton of 3371, which if you didn't know is a very, very dark, dark brown. I'm gonna give you a close up of these drills because there have been some complaints lately about uh, square drills and the quality of the square drills. And it seems to affect mostly the darker color. These look absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I do not see one thing wrong with these. I don't see any tabs. I don't see I, the backs look nice and flat. These look great. These look absolutely wonderful. So we do have quite a few bags of 3371. And we've got 3799, which is another dark, dark gray. Uh-oh. My 127 bag is empty, and that's our AB. I am going to, and this is why it's a good idea, even if you're not planning on working on a canvas right away, it's a good idea when you receive them to get them out of the box and open up your drills and take a look just to make sure everything's okay. I'm sure Diamond Art Club would honor it even if it was, um, you know, sometime in the future, but it's a good idea to take a take it out, take a look at it, and make sure you have everything because I'm, this was just an error in filling the bags, but my 127 bag is empty in the strip. So I'm gonna have to contact them and let them know. And their customer service is excellent in my experience, and I'm sure that I will have those replacement drills within days. This isn't something I plan on working on right away, so I'm not too worried about it. 317, 762, which is not white. 762 is actually a very light gray. So keeping on going, we've got more 762. Then we have 3865, which is still not quite bright white, but you can see when you put those two together, you can see the difference between 762 and 3865. 3865 is used mainly for white. A true, true white is 5200, but... Um, in this sort of image, and most images, 3865 seems to be the one they go for. 938, a couple bags of that. 779, 3024, 3861, 648, 604, 939, 3860, 154, 3033, 550, just a little bit of that. 898, which is a nice milk chocolate brown, 3023. 844, 433, and 434. So some browns and tans. Those are probably going to go down here um, in her dress area, um, around here, maybe, maybe up in here where it's a little bit lighter brown. Some more, I don't know if we had 415 already, but three big bags of 415. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six big bags of 310. So we'll take, a, we'll take a good look at the 310s as well, but they, they look gorgeous. I just kind of shoved them up in front of my face, and they look great, you guys. I think whatever was happening with square drills, especially the dark ones, must be over because those drills look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I will be contacting Diamond Art Club as soon as I am finished with this video and letting them know about um, 127. I don't... <clears throat> Excuse me. If it were any other color, I would just go to my stash of spare drills and, you know, take it from there. But I know that I don't in squares have um, that many ABs. Um, and I don't think I have 127. I'm pretty sure 127 is like a peach or light pink color. Uh, we can take a look on the canvas and see where those ABs are supposed to go um, as soon as I get these back in here. And I apologize for doing it on camera, but we've got one more canvas to go, and I don't want these just lying all over the place while we're trying to get into another, show another canvas. So you're just going to have to give me some grace here while I wrestle with these strips. I think I've gotten pretty good at folding these back up and getting them back in. Oh, yeah. See what happens when you start bragging? Mm-hmm. Yep. Then errors you will make, my friend. 
I should not have bragged. Should not have been bragging at all. All right, I've got them now. Now let's just get them back in the bag. I'm sorry for all the crinkling. A little extra with the crinkling right now, aren't I? Okay. And I'm putting this away only because the next one that we're going to look at, the next diamond painting, is so big. I have an idea of what it is. It's one, it's one, of, it's one of two things. <laughs> I'm not sure which. Um, but it is big and it's going to take up a lot of space. So we're going to look and see where our AB would go if we had it. But we'll get it. I'm not worried about it. We'll get it. It's number one on the canvas. So we're looking for symbol number one. And I can see some down here in the ribbon of her dress, ribbons of her dress. I can also see some up here in the flowers that are in her hair. So it looks like they're just gonna be sprinkled and down and in this ribbon here that comes down. So, and this ribbon and these ribbons. So it looks like it's just gonna be a sprinkling of ABs through there, which is going to, that's my favorite way to have them is to have them just sprinkled in all around. And let's take a look at the drill field close up just so I can show you the clarity of the drill field. I never had a problem with a Diamond Art Club canvas not being clear, the symbols not being clear and easy to read. But just to let you have a look for yourself. And that is Rokako Dream. And I have been waiting for her. I think this pre-order went on, uh, I put in March 24th, so I have been waiting. It's now May, May 25th, so a couple months. But I knew that when I ordered it. It was a pre-order, so it was, you know, that's not any, I was fine with that. Um, if you're not fine with that, then, you know, wait till it comes back in stock and place your order and get it. They do ship very quickly when they have items in stock. They do have a new release from last Saturday that is coming and is scheduled to be here on Thursday. So I will be back to you with an unboxing for that on Thursday. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is. But let me just say this, it sold out in like mm, 20 seconds. I don't know if it was 20 seconds, but after I had placed my purchase and I went back at 12.02, it was already sold out. So it's so exciting, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, it was kind of serendipitous how it happened uh, with that, and I'll tell you more about it on Thursday when we do that unboxing. But for right now, let's get into our next and final canvas of the day. You guys, I think, are going to get a bonus video today. Um, I'm going to do a post review of True Artist EP. This is the other image. Yes, I got the old shoe house. And I can't believe I got this one, you guys. I really can't. I don't know what I was thinking. I looked and looked and looked at it for a long time. And I decided, <laughs> actually, I ordered it with Rococo Dream so I could get free shipping. Does anybody ever do that? <laughs> like, oh, I don't want to pay $8 for shipping. I'll just order something else, too. Really? Come on. And so I'm paid 10 times that much for another canvas. Really? Come on. But... No matter. I loved it. I do. I love it. And I will do it someday. Again, it is a square drill canvas. And let's pull this big bad boy out here and we'll get into the deets, like the size, because I didn't tell you guys that. There's our sticker. So the same thing with our uh, toolkit as with the last toolkit. We got tweezers, a pen, a squishy, a clear boat with a funnel, some baggies, a four placer, and two plates of heart shape wax and sharp pointed tweezers. Did I say that? I'm not sure. So this is the old shoe house by Dominic Davison and it is a square and it is 105 by 70. So I believe, nope, that's not true either. I do have a 100 by 100 canvas, but this will be one of the largest canvases that I have. Um, I've seen some pictures on Facebook of it finished, and oh my word, is it beautiful. And I really do love the image. So let's get it out. Come on, Ange. Quit talking about it and do it, right? And it is going to take up the whole table, and we're probably going to have to do this in sections. 
um, because you're not going to be able to see the whole thing at once. So let me just start. Let me let me fold her backwards a little bit. To just get some of that wrinkle, or not wrinkle, but some of that uh, urge to fold out of there. Look at that. Look at the mushrooms. <gasps> I love it already. Oh my gosh, it's one thing to see the picture. It's quite another thing to have it in front of you, isn't it? Wow, look at that shoe. Well, it's a boot, but look at that boot. It's gorgeous, you guys. Oh my heavens. Look at that castle back there in the background. Keep the canoe or gondola. That looks more like a gondola, doesn't it? The way it has, has that little thing. Um, the shoe house has a duck. We've got a squirrel up in the tree, packing up some nuts for winter. And I'm going to keep coming. I'm going to keep coming that way. Hold on. Let me move these drills. I'm going to keep coming that way. Oh my gosh. I love these mushrooms. I love them. They're great. I love these mushrooms. What am I ever going to do with this when it is finished, you guys? I don't have enough wall space. I keep saying I'm going to frame things and put them up in my craft room, but my craft room only has so many walls. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get a little bit choosy. And this is not one that I would pay to frame. It would cost a freaking fortune. So this is one that I will have my husband do a wrap frame for me for. It has 57 colors. Yes, 57 colors. That is a ton of colors. So we still have our legend here on the top left and down on the bottom right. I've got to move this thing. It covers, this is a tablecloth, you guys. It covers my entire table. So, ooh, we got some mallard ducks down there in the, in the pond. I want to work on this. I know I say that all the time. Oh, and look at the beautiful rainbow back there by the mountain and the beautiful trees. Oh, I love it. It's so just like whimsical, isn't it? I really do like it. I really do. I want to work on it really bad. I wish that it wasn't so big, but it is what it is. You have to do that to get the detail that you want. So again, you have your step-by-step -step instructions. We do have our large sticker sheet that gives you a image of the item. And you know, I found that these sticker sheets are kind of dark because you can tell by looking at this, this isn't well, and this is a canvas without drills, so that doesn't even look like what it's gonna look like. But I've found that these representations on these sheets tend to be a little darker than what the actual image comes out to when it's drilled. So don't necessarily go by that as far as richness of color. Um, it is gonna be a lot more clear uh, than what you see, at least in my experience it has been, than what you see there. So we do have our symbol list with our 57 colors that are on our pre-scored sticker sheets. So you can just take these stickers off and put them on your containers. Um, and it looks like we have one, two, three ABs in this one. Wonderful. So we're gonna see where those three ABs will go and we'll take a look and see which ABs those are. And yes, I will open the drills for you because I love y'all. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna skimp out. I'm not gonna deprive you of that. So we do have um, the, the uh, drill packages are labeled one of two and two of two for the old shoe house. So if you store your drills separately from your canvases, you'll know that what these go to and you'll know that you need to have two packages of them. So we'll just get into this first one that says it's two of two. If we can find the, there we go. And I'm going to try to keep the two separate because they're different sizes and it's I want to make sure that everything fits back in more or less the way it came out. But you can tell we're just going to have tons of color in this. This is going to, we're going to have every color under the rainbow in this painting. Um, I might not list off, I know a lot of, some people like it, but a lot of people don't. So I might not list off every DMC color, but we'll just run through real quick and take a look at them. We got purple, orange, 823, which is a deep dark blue, some yellow more purple blue 3756 that's that really light mint green more purple some grays couple gray light blue light gray brown we're probably gonna have a lot of brown 
Look at that's a nice fat bag of 550. That's probably gonna go up there in the tree, I'm thinking. 208, some more blues, mint green. That's our first strip. Our second strip has here's where we're gonna get all of our varying colors of green because there's a lot of green in this painting. So we've got a couple bags of that, 904, a few 906. Few 890, which are the uh, darker foresty color green. Some dark blue, some black. Oh, look, this whole painting, and we've only got these two bags of 310. Yay! I don't know why 310 gets such a bad rap, but I don't. I just I don't love working with lots of 310. I don't think a lot of people do either. Uh, some brown, yellowy brown, gray, some white. Some taupe, more brown and more taupe. So that's what we've got in that first big packet of drills. Now let's grab this second pack. And this has got to be where our ABs are, right? Because we haven't come across any so far. So they must be in this second pack. So let's get into these and see what we've got in here. Line them. I don't know why I'm trying to be so fancy with it. I'm not going to put them back like that. We'll start with the big bags. So we've got more green. This looks like it might be in our predominant green, this 905. We've got three big bags of that. And more green. And then we've got some really dark brown. That's 3371. Some tan, more green, light gray more brown. Ooh, this is a pretty green, isn't it? That's 647. It's kind of a kind of a light sage, I would say. Not sure what colors to call that, but yeah, it's like a gray green and some more green. Now we're going to get into our last but not least, this is where our we're going to mix up the colors. These are our accent colors. These are the drills that there aren't quite as many of. We've got bubblegum pink and blue and red and red and 939 which is dark navy blue yellow gold blue more red orange more brown and here's our first ab so our first ab is a bubble gum pink if you're not familiar with what an ab diamond is ab stands for aurora borealis it has an iridescent coating on the drills so that when it, the light hits it, you kind of get a little bit of a rainbow effect. It shimmers just a little bit more than normal drills do and give off like a rainbow iridescent look. So that's our first AB is that nice bubblegum pink. We got a little bit of lavender, some orange, some neon yellow, and then we've got our next AB drill, which is this lime green. So you can tell a little bit better in the lime green. You can see that iridescent effect, the rainbow effect that it gives off. And then our third AB is right next to it, and that's that really light pale yellow. So we've got pink, green, and yellow for our ABs. We've got more pink here, some orange, some red, and a little bit of tan to round it all out. So I am going to guess that the ABs are going to go, let me see what symbols are they. Let me just grab this sheet real quick because I can't see a corner. One, two, and three are our symbols for our ABs. I see some twos down here. Two was that green. The, um, so we, I see some twos down here in the grass. Um, the threes, let's see if the threes, where are the threes? threes could go. Oh. oh no, the threes are the green, the twos are the yellow. Okay. Let's see, let's see if I can do this without making a mess. We've got some twos and threes up here in the shading of this weeping willow tree. We have a tree like this in our backyard by the pond. It's beautiful. And number one, we've got number one. Ooh! Number one is in the rainbow, you guys. So that pretty pink is gonna be in the rainbow. And then we've got a little bit in this tree here. And we've got more twos and threes over in this tree here. 
So it looks like, again, the ABs are just going to be sprinkled around the canvas and give it, just accentuate some little areas with just a little bit extra sparkle. So that's perfect. So that is the old shoe house. If you've ever wondered what it looks like and how big it is, it's bigger than a dining room table. So that's that end. We'll bring it across again and let you see the whole beauty that is the old shoe house. Again, it is seven, 105 by 70 centimeters. It is gonna be a beast to work with and I don't know when I'll ever get around to it, but I've got it. <laughs> I've got it and I can work on it whenever I want to, right? So 57 colors, 105 by 70, Dominic Davis in the old shoe house. And then we have Rococo Dream by Inez Guerrero. And that was a 56 by 76. And they're both square diamond paintings. And they were both pre-orders. And they, I'm sure that they will be coming back into stock or be available again for pre-order. Um, so keep your eye out. You can always put your email address in um, under the item description on their website. And they will email you when the item comes back in stock so that you can place your order if these are anything that you would like. And I'm very happy with both of them. And I have so much going on right now, you guys. I'm at a point where my storage containers, and I'm telling you, I have a ton of storage containers, are full because I have so many different projects kitted up. So I'm trying to finish up some projects, trying not to be so starty starty. <laughs> and uh, because I have that one coming on Thursday that I am gonna start no matter what. So I need to free up some storage containers. I've got two more days. Two more days to free up some storage containers so I can start on the one that's coming Thursday. But anyway, thanks you guys for tuning in and give me a thumbs up on your way out and subscribe to the channel so you can see all my beautiful unboxings or not so beautiful if they're not your taste. You know, whatever. I've got other videos too. Um, but go ahead and click the subscribe button and come back and visit me some more. I would appreciate that. And for you, those of you that are subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate your subscribing to my channel. It's nice to know that there's somebody out there watching and listening. So have a great day, you guys, and I will be back with you again soon. Thanks. Bye.